everyone! Welcome to Eat Me Recipes. Today I'll be showing you how to make the soft and easy roti. The ingredients for this recipe is in the description box below and there you will also find a link for the full written step-by-step -step recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. First off, you want to add the flour to a mixing bowl. Add in salt. Add in butter or margarine. And thereafter, pour in the vegetable oil. Using clean hands, rub the butter and the oil into the flour. It should resemble breadcrumbs. Next you want to pour in a little boiling water. Use a spoon and mix the water in. Add in more boiling water, continue mixing. Continue this process until you're left with a clumpy dough. Remove any excess dough on the spoon. Next you want to use your hands and bring the dough together. The dough will be hot so be careful when handling it. Knead the dough for about 6 to 8 minutes. I prefer to knead it in the same bowl so there's less cleanup. And this also keeps the dough warm. You can take a break here and there so your hands can cool down. Once you've kneaded the dough, it should be smooth and pliable. Mm -hmm. 
Separate the dough into 12 to 13 equal parts. Lightly flour a surface, working with one portion of dough at a time, we're going to tuck, roll and flatten on a surface. Lightly flour your rolling pin and roll out the dough into a disc. Once it's rolled out, set it aside and continue the same process. You can dust more flour onto the surface if you find the dough sticking to the surface. And if you cannot roll your dough out into a circular shape, simply use a plate or a lid to cut out your shape.
Once all the dough has been rolled out, it's time to start toasting them. Bring out a container and line it with wax or parchment paper. Place a pan or skillet on the stove top on medium heat. Once the pan or skillet is hot, place the dough onto it. Use your fingers or a spatula to spin the disc around. You want this to toast for about 30 seconds. Thereafter, you want to flip it over. Allow this side to toast for 30 seconds. Thereafter, you want to flip it over. It should begin to puff up. And if both sides are toasted, you can remove it from the heat. Continue toasting all the disc until all is done. As each one is toasted, place them into the lined container. Make sure to cover the container with a dish towel after toasting each roti. This will keep the roti soft. These soft, easy rotis are ready to be served. You can serve them as is or with a thick slather of butter. They also go well with any meal. I've served this with a chapli kebab chutney. Just a quick reminder, the quantities are in the description box below and there you will also find the direct link for the full written recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also drop some recipe requests in the comment section and I will try to do those recipes as soon as I can. Enjoy!